record what you're playing if you can do that with your computer or if you have a tape deck but play just like I was playing with the metronome this is after you practiced it for a while and then go through it and play it when you feel like you've got it down and record it and then listen back to it and and it's surprising what you hear when you're listening back and not playing sometimes we're so focused on playing getting the right notes getting the rhythm that we're, we're not really listening to some of the details of what we're playing so when you're listening back your brain is free to totally focus on what you're listening to you don't have to worry about the notes or the rhythms um, and the reason I say that is because sometimes you pick out things that oh wait that's not that's that doesn't sound like it's swinging that's not really delayed I rush that um, I remember when I was younger I, I you know I would hear a recording after we did a concert like a jazz band concert I had a big solo or whatever and something I thought was hip like bending the note you know I was oh I can bend notes it's awesome and I was bending notes all over the place and then which I thought I was totally cool I sound like the best sax player ever and then when I listened to the recording I'm like gosh I'm I'm bending those notes way too much I I gotta stop I shouldn't do that as much because even at when at my young age I was like that sounds like ridiculous like I'm bending way too much and I never realized that when I was playing so that's the kind of thing and that's that's why I mention it okay so that's number six um, the next one I do is number seven um, and number five's in there two nope not number five number seven and then number eight okay so number seven is, is a similar concept. It's got two sharps. So we're in the key of D, D's two sharps. Um, and you see how it starts on a D and it ends on a D. Um, and so a lot, a lot of times when, you know, we're, I'm doing this with a second year student, I'll, before we even play the song, I'm like, okay, what key is this in? You know, and, and they'll kind of make some guesses. But I usually tell them, look at the first note, look at the last note. It's, it doesn't always start on the note the keys in but sometimes it does and that can be a hint uh, and then look at the key signature but the rhythm here is similar to the other rhythm except that eighth note isn't short it's, it's tied to a half note so you got a dotted quarter note and then a with it with an accent sideways tp which means full length but accented and then you got an eighth note tied to a half note and that has a sideways tp so that rhythm in bar one, 